Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. For so many days, I have thought how to provide something, how to provide you an idea with which you would find it very easy to produce sentences in English. Most of the time, I have found my students are struggling. They are struggling so hard only to produce a sentence. But is this uh, so much tough? Is this so much hard a task to perform? Is producing a sentence in English is so very difficult? Obviously, it's not. Producing a sentence in English is very easy. Just you can't imagine how easy is this. But to get to it, you have to follow some process. Very simple process. You have to practice it and obviously you are going to flourish with your English sentences. So dear friends, today we are going to present a special video, a special class on easy way to produce English sentences. So let's begin our discussion. So here we are with a new exercise that would help you producing English sentence in so very easily. So let's uh, begin our discussion. When we produce a sentence in English language, what do we do? Normally, when we produce a sentence in English, we speak of uh, someone or something. So we speak of someone or something and also if we uh, find it out how they work with this we add some sense of being or doing or having. So that's how we produce a sentence. So this is the basics of a sentence. When you have to produce a sentence, you have to choose someone or something because you are talking of, you are speaking of someone or something and what that someone or something is being, doing or having. So very short, in a, in a short way, if we uh, try to uh, synopsize this, you would get that this is actually the subject of the sentence and here it comes as the verb of the sentence and as you know a sentence contains what a sentence contains a subject and a verb so now we'd use this simple process and would produce sentence and how it would work how the things are going to be so easy suppose we have chosen a word that is uh, sun so this is the word with which we produce sentence. So we are using sun as the subject and let's see how we can produce it with some word. So here we are using the sun and with this we are using rises. Now just consider this. We are putting it into a box so that you can find it easily if it has become a sentence or not. The sun rises. So we have produced a sentence, a very simple sentence. And this is the basic with which you can begin with a single word and you can proceed this exercise, this task. And uh, this is like your uh, physical exercise. This is actually your sentence making exercises which would help you to produce beautiful sentences. So with this simple uh, sentence, the sun rises, we are going to show you how we can set ourselves into a deeper sense. So from where we have uh, started, yes, we have started from this one. 
so before uh, starting this uh, let me share the things okay so what we have uh, found we have found the sun rises this is our first sentence and now we are going to extend this the sun rises in the east this is a second sentence so if we find this what have we done we haven't done much but only we have added this part in the east let's uh, uh, make it green so we have added a phrase in the east and the sentence has been extended with its sense as well we can uh, extend it further if we say so what we have done we have used an adjective with the sun and with this adjective the sentence get extended the orange sun rises in the east now it can be uh, again uh, dragged further we can add information with this sentence so actually the basic sentence the sun rises we are adding information with this sentence and we are getting new sentences and we are getting extended sentences so it's all about expanding your idea by adding ideas together so if you consider this this is a very easy task just like a game which you have to play obviously if you want to uh, make yourself skilled enough into producing english sentences that's your task and you can do this with the children with the little ones of your uh, family and you'd find that this is just like a game and they are going to learn a lot they are going to grab sentences so very easily they have started producing 10 sentences so very easily so let's uh, begin this uh, let's continue what we have already done so here we have said the orange sun rises in the east so can we uh, uh, make it uh, longer how okay so here i have added another phrase every morning the orange sun appears in the east every morning or you may say every morning the orange sun appears in the east now i can uh, make it uh, longer how suppose uh, if i say now i have produced this sentence so here i have added another information and uh, this information has uh, made this uh, sentence elaborated after the dark night the orange sun rises in the east every morning so you can see we have started this exercise with three words only obviously not three words with one words word that is sun and then we have taken rises so the sun rises so that's how we have started and the sentence is getting longer so is there any uh, scope to uh, lengthen it further obviously you have just you have to think what more information you can add with this so actually we are going on adding information and making it beautiful so after the dark night the orange sun rises in the east every morning uh, you can add this uh, add another information uh, and uh, make it uh, beautiful more beautiful so how it is possible so let's begin yes dear friends if you uh, read this you would find out after the dark night the orange sun with his soft light rises in the east every morning so here what we have done here we have added another phrase with his soft light and the sentence get elaborated the gets the sentence gets uh, more information and the sentence gets longer this scope for this as well so far what we have done we have added pairs of speeches then we have added phrases now so far we haven't added any clauses but in this uh, sentence we can put some clauses and make this sentence more elaborated more informational so how let's begin it so
so here i have added what here i have added a clause when the dark night is over after the dark night uh, that was uh, freeze but now we have added a clause when the dark night is over so it has become uh, longer it gets more information now to make it beautiful we may uh, put some other uh, clauses as well so dear friends what changes we have met here we have uh, put a fresh uh, clause here and also we have added an adjective so now if you check all these sentences you find out that it's very easy what we are doing we are actually adding information in different parts of a sentence it's in the subject parts it's in the object words also you can add information in the verb word as well by form of verb phrases so that's how a sentence can be elaborated a sentence can be lengthened a sentence can be expanded and this is just like a game play it play it uh, with yourself play it with your friends play it with your uh, near and dear ones and obviously play it with your children and you would find that sentence making and producing beautiful sentences in english is not a tough task at all so that's the end of this part we are going to present some beautiful things regarding learning of english grammar very soon that video is just coming so wait for this and till it comes you have to practice this this exercise this sentence expansion exercise and you are going to flourish that's all that's all from today we are returning very soon with a fresh video until then bye bye